just gonna give it a moment for the stream to start up. Wait for the one minute mark, and then I'm gonna do a little quick intro for you all. Uh, so let's just chillax for a moment. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty soft stream because my controller and I have to cut my audio out, so hopefully I won't be able to talk later. It doesn't hurt too much, but I'll just have to deal with it. So, let's go to story mode. I'll do that So, Redemption 2, which is a game I never actually finished. I know, burn me at the stake. Uh, but I'm starting a series where I go back and finish playthroughs of games that I ultimately dropped for some reason or another. So I will have to relearn the entire story of the game from where I left off, what's happened, all that stuff. Um, and hopefully everyone will look for the series. And you'll get a fresh new look from me on this game. And on the games that I play. And first up is Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm try to finish Red Dead Redemption 2. I know it's really good, is what I've been told. When I first played it, it was a while back, and I never really played the story mode. I kind of quit after a while, because it just kind of slowed down. I'm going to try my best to get through it and if there's cool cutscenes I'm not gonna skip cutscenes I'm just gonna actually try to get the story from where I'm at but uh, I'm glad everyone's going to be here for the ride um, and let's get started once it loads up and I'll see where I left left off I'll figure it out just by looking around my best of my abilities So, I'll be streaming this on Twitch, so I believe it'll be live, and then I will take that live and post it on YouTube. Might edit it, might not. I'm not the greatest at editing. But, um... I haven't edited any of my videos. I'm waiting to see if one of my friends is willing to do it. But, you know. If I'm not sure if I'm still learning how to edit myself. But yeah, let's see where I left this off. Uh, oh, where am I? So, oh, I was doing a low honor run. I know apparently high honor is way better than low honor, but I'm going to play the game how I So I'm nearby here, where is things to do? I'm gonna go do the named mission first. And try to figure out where I Let's go, girl. last yeah. left off. <laughs> so, let's get started. I gotta come up with things to say while I travel so it's not just silence. Um, <laughs> well, I hope everyone's doing good today. Um, and I hope that you enjoy my content. But, no. To each their own. I ain't. Oh, wait. I I'll see something cool over here. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't care in this state for the federal government. You're an enemy of this state. You know why you're here. Don't Please, God. I don't like people. Thank you, stranger. These raiders are insane.
Oh shit, I'm not even running revolvers? What was I doing in my last run? Okay, we got... So, we got my two pistols, they're gold and black. Um, that's what I was doing last run, interesting. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do. I kind of like the pistols, so... I ain't complaining too much, but... I'm just gonna ride into Saint Denis on my horse. This game is very beautiful for being made so long ago. Uh, nice legendary fish location. Let's go faster. So, I, I do, I am slowly remembering what happened in this game. So first, you know, you're up in the mountaintops after some massacre job gone wrong. Um, and... More or less an outlaw trying to run away from the law, and that's all that I... Talking about. Morning, friend. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Take okay. Care, but... You've made a wonderful choice. <laughs> it is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. It is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, uh -huh. it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. Alright. So, that was interesting. Um, but, you know, how he was selling out his religion. Uh, how about... You all go subscribe to Cosmozy, you know, on YouTube. That's, that's my YouTube channel where this will be uploaded. So everyone make sure to subscribe, like, and subscribe. Move. If you haven't, then do so, and you know, maybe, maybe, maybe share it, show it with some friends. That'd be oh so appreciated. Uh, fuck that guy. <laughs> ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. I'm gonna get all fancy. That's great. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. A very good choice, sir. The crat in his profile. The heavy brow. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Look at my. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite That's true. That's from pretty cool trip. The action he has planned. 
Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! <laughs> My good man! Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged uh, some transportation for us. Let's get to the docks then. George! To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. <laughs> well, look at you! From Toad to Prince. Yeah, what this a dick! Is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? I we thought I looked pretty cool. We up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, <laughs> if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, this guy Arthur. always has We're fucking all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> nothing. Nothing ever goes wrong. <laughs> and what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Get your meat here. Oh, God. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? 
Come on, you. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Hello dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. <sighs> Champagne. Why are the drinks on me, man? First thing. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. <sighs> okay. Javier. Oh, I'm I sure forgot. Javier is heavily armed like my river favorite boat character. A gun. Tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. I don't know how to play this. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> we can go higher than that. Oh, I'm in. Call. Good God, are you men or mice? Call, I guess. Call, call, call. Is anyone gonna live a little here? This is probably a bad idea, but I'll raise you. Yes, call. I'll call. Yes, I'll call. Mm. I'll call. Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it! I don't know how to play this, man. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> I don't know how to play, uh... Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... Fair point. I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Okay, Strauss. No, I'm gonna call. Is that Interesting. Hair cowgirls. This is my first win, bro. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... 
Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well... Nothing ventured, nothing There's gained. Nothing gained. Hurricanes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash yeah. these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. One moment, I gotta pause the game. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not, I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Uh, yeah, I hey, know, hey, I know. hey, hey. That's not wrong at all. That's a completely normal thing. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but... You can... Give me a sec. Can't have everything. Indeed. Well... Here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. All right. Guess you were right. Damn. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Oh, shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. What the gun? Can't believe that asshole had another gun. View in here is looking pretty good. Good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And... How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. 
This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. <coughs> Probably involved in <coughs> dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. No, sir, my friend is not a no good chief, and I beg you to take Monsieur. back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, oh, shit's going on. Oh, Video games. Part of a story driven video game. Come on, let's get the hell out of here! Oh, how do you suggest? I don't know, this ain't my show! Silly me, I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Oh, definitely can't go out this way. Right. Let's get out of here, Arthur! Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. I like Strauss. Strauss is cool. I like Strauss. I think he's fine. Mission I go, which is just what is the map? Oh, that was not my fault. He was in the middle of the street, not my fault. Mr. <laughs> well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. 
Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen. Yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Well, you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want you me to me try to steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his... No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, if the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. I wonder if I know what this is. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall have the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. 
Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! <laughs> uh, hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. Uh, a demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You. You are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. <laughs> I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor. Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this. I'm not a this, buffoon. And uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling you. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Evasive maneuvers. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. What a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you like intend to make really an cool. unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. There. I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. I, I did. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Pog, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart cog. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car, they will all seem pet and in comparison to this technology, we are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Look who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. 
And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly par- <laughs> and, and, As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well... This is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is. It is <laughs> Why does Arthur just touch Perhaps it, bro? Over lunch. That's great. Maybe. I love Arthur. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> and that was I a cool little side quest. Forgive my. I, I really enjoyed that little side quest. Look out! Oh, my, my horse is up. Oh, let me go. A poor horsey. What does Sadie want with me? Sadie kind of cute though. So it's a little bit weird. I've been ignoring this guy. I really should. Go and see what Albert Mason wants. What is his size? Further help with photography. That's so boring, bro. What the Back to the camp. So, you know, that, that was a little cool side mission that I I got a little too distracted with, you know, ADHD bread. But I got my guns back, everything's chilling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna thread the needle. <laughs> but, you know, cowboys, cowboys are cool. Um, I don't have much to talk about. Usually I usually have people around me when I stream, so I have, like, banter. So, I'll just banter with my software. But, um... <laughs> God, I'm lonely. Uh, but, um, so, things to expect besides, like, Red Dead Redemption after I finish this game. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and finish my playthrough of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, maybe Resident Evil Village, Evil Within 1 and 2, um, Lies of P, which I've heard is also a really good game. Uh, and that's about all the games I have lined up for now. Who's there? I don't care. Let's go. Let's see what Sadie wants. I hate that I can't run in the camp. Okay, let me shut up so I can walk. Oh, uh, uh. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. 
Well, that depends if you want to massacre or pay them. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody Holy fuck! Our Driscoll boys are coming! I like fearing. Jack, go! Jack! Jack! Oh, fuck, I won't shoot. Women and children inside! Rescue you! Hold your ground! We need your gun down there. Mark, they need help. Get down there. All right, all right, all right. God damn crap. Come on, damn Driscoll. Driscoll, get upstairs. Be safer up there. Hold in here. Stay away from the window. Get inside, fast. Come on, quick. Fuck up with my camp? Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! That's his gang. Don't look like much. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said it's everyone accounted for! I don't know! I think! Fuck it. Sadie got him, bro. Sadie's like, I, I had to focus up for a second. Sadie's getting him. Like, fuck. Sadie's better at this than I am. for Karen here. Uh, oh, poor kid. I actually really like Mr. Bro. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, 
Help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <sighs> Karen, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. So, what mission should I go and do first? If, Lucario, if you're still in the in the chat, uh, tell me which mission I should go do first. Dutch Vanderlin or... Eagle Flies. If not, then I'm just gonna go choose Dutch, cause... Oof. We're going, we're going up there, then. Alright, let me get my horse. Another day, huh, Arthur? Oof. Okay, finally I can sprint. Been too long, girl. Yeah. Alright, let's get to move on. To really far away. Oof. Yeah, it's a Dalmatian horse. I love this horse. I've, I don't even know where I found it. I ain't gonna lie. I just I restarted the game, or not restarted, but you know, restarted where I left off last. So I have I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, hold up. I just wanted to shoot some people. <laughs> uh. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Well, we saw your horse today. Somewhere at least. Ooh. Oh, I'm bad. Jiminy cocksucker. That's yeah. great. Of course, his name was Glue Factory. You're not the first person that I've heard that's named their horse Glue Factory. Yep. 
can't. I'm reading, trying to reach that while also fucking riding my horse. I'm struggling. How far are we? Hold up. I want to check how far we are. Um, we're not that far. Okay. How are you doing today, uh, Lugario? The stream, uh, the stream VOD's probably gonna be yeah. uploaded onto my YouTube channel, so like, you know, you should go subscribe to that. That'd be amazing. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Gotta wait for the laundry to get done. Fair enough, fair enough. Cutscene time. <laughs> All right, you gotta shut up for the cutscene. You came, Gorsha came. I always Shadow come. Wood. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe. Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was Ooh. that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Do stealth. I'm not the greatest at stealth, so this might go horribly wrong. Cowboy gun, but let's go. Hey, you out? Hey, 
Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. If I just like, okay. I could kill all move these on guys. Then. I could kill them all. Like, I'm Arthur Morgan, man. I wonder if I go to the roof if I can find a way in. I feel like I'm playing Assassin's Creed. Hold up. I want up. I could lift that. I'm strong enough. I'm Arthur Morgan. Oh, I almost fell off. God, I am so fucking stealthy. No, no one. Nah. with the hard way. I told you I was bad as stealth. Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice <laughs> floor as this. It's here. It's here. Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. I like how I did serious stuff. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head officer will send me back to get you. Who needs stealth? <sighs> stealth is for hey, babies. Hey, hey, hold it right there! Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now we won't tell you again. What the hell? Sorry. Ah. Shit. 
Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yeah. Eagle flies he does know how to do a fine. fucking mission. He blew up that shit. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter <laughs> and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. I, I hate how the gang gets money from missions that they're not even, like, a part of. That is so annoying. Like, I I'm trying to be a big spender, bro. Fuck the gang. Dutch sucks anyway. Yep. Oh yeah, let's go do the Dutch mission now. After I said Dutch sucks. Oh, I need more ammo. Uh, you know, we'll switch to different guns then. These ones just aren't co uh, customized, I don't think. Well, one is. Oh, they're actually customized. It's not very well. For real! I can't trick it out. I can't get it to have good trip. You know, this is my car now. It has so much horsepower. It technically only has yeah. one horsepower. I'll shoot that. Yeah, I got you, homie. <laughs> hey, fuck you! It's getting hard to breathe and fuck you. Uh, you're after me too. I know it. I know it. Okay then, partner. The horse kicked me! Okay, what do you expect girl. from me? Easy now. Yeah. The 
horse kicked me. The horse deserved it. No, the horse kicked me. The horse got what it deserved. My Arthur Morgan definitely isn't low honor. No. Have a low honor Arthur Morgan. Would never. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> They're gonna witness my crime. Almost there. Almost there to die. Keep your distance from me. I know you want it. I wasn't paying attention. Come on, girl. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. After I finish Red Dead, the next thing is like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I think. Oh, that's undecided for now. I gotta finish Red Dead. To have Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. That's true. Groveling here in the dirt. I don't give a fuck about that guy's child story. Rockstar, like, they took the time to animate that. And like render it and everything, and they gave her horses oh, dicks. Like, they took the time to render, animate, 
Uh, like, that's someone's entire job. Is to just render and animate the horse's dick on fucking Red Dead. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Mommy, Arthur. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, give me your money. We just want ain't money. worth dying. Don't make this us kill you. Nothing else. Mr. F, leave these fine folks so their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. Now, I'm gonna I need everything you dying. got on you. That's your of choice. Course, of course, just Not take mine. It. Kindly open that gate. Let my acquaintance inside. I said open Hand over it. all your money now. Quick. Okay, of course. Fine, it's yours. I'll see hey, you. There's nothing you left here. You got. What? Quick. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. No, no, je vous en supplie. Get out here and get ready for company. Hey. You're cool now. Mr. M, check the safe. Oh, the sure. Cool it Bitch. Down, right? Sorry, I'm being a, like a Open horrible it. person. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son now. of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now. Go. All right, let's see. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Uh, hold them off, fellas. Out of ammo. 
No? No. Yes. No. Why am I just standing still again? Fuck out of here. Head for the bridge. Yes. Oh, I'm shooting blank space because I got I got stuck playing. Okay, looks like I'm in it for the head. I don't know how your gun not being played affects the how the gun shoots. Shoot 
I didn't shoot ah, shit. I, I fucking was out of bullets, man. You see any more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Double barrel wasn't my best idea, okay? Whew. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... Fifteen dollars. Oh. And a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. Mars. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Did this fucking leave me here? What a bunch of ducks. I need a restock on ammo. Change my guns. I don't think the double barrel was a fitting gun choice. Come on. can fuck around with my bullets. I did not notice that all uh, there was some people in there. Arthur Morgan. God, I ran into the wrong place. <laughs> Let's run off.
Is he up there? Yeah, he's up there. I can I can get around. I'll have to deal with him. Yeah, I need a restock on ammo. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, John. John. It's John Marston, Michael. I know that happens, which I'm excited. Because I really like John as a character. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but <laughs> I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. I'll help her out later. I don't know if I have any bullets, so I'm just gonna start the Dutch mission. Hold up, let me check if her mission is a red or a white mission. She's a white mission, so. That's awesome. Do the Dutch mission first. Hopefully, we'll be able to come back and do those ones. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. 
Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. It's as bad as the slop I ate at the orphanage. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Easy, killer. That's rich from you. Uh, how many shots do I? What, what weapon has the most shots? Okay, we're gonna just switch back to an old classic. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about... Like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget. Hook, young Jack. I understand. We just got I need to play the first the uh, boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. Red Dead. You all seem to have forgotten how much I've is made play this one first, and what it takes so. to support twenty people. Let alone what it takes to give twenty people a new life overseas. But with all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay so either we're in this together working together to get out together or we're not there simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything i know you're right just feels like we're on borrowed time again i mean the old triscoll's found us yeah we need to move and soon haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. My horse shits, bro. Thomas. Okay, let's shut up for a couple Good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur, Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. 
Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. Look, if you bring him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. He live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Hey guys, I um so I'm gonna pause the stream here for a few moments, but I'll be back for a little intermission.
Ladies and gents, I have returned. I don't know how long it was for you guys, but you keep a lookout for company. Just off. Check the traps with me. I'm back. Oh, don't know how long it. Can you please it check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? Hold up, I gotta get back onto Twitch for. But I had to handle some personal stuff. But I'm back now and I'm ready to play some Red Dead. I'm gonna have to end the stream here soon. But not. Not after. Uh, not until after the. Um... <coughs> not until after. Not until after I finish this mushroom. This one's empty. Alright, I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Come on, like I said, we need to be lively here. Whoa, stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Ooh. Oh, my friend's live streaming. Nice. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. This swamp area kind of creeps me out, though. Locking a cap. It's a very creepy area. Ah, oh, there's a lot of gators. Fuck.
My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eat. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. I actually have to kind of focus up to keep myself from getting hit by a gator. So, let me focus up just real quick. Someone there! Over this way! Um, be him? You in a tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? Where? Master, they nearly ate me. Where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there! I ran! I... Oh. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon.
got the scarf. It's over here. <clears throat> Stop. to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. We'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. We got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Come on, put your back into it. Oh shit. Shit. He won't kill No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick. Quick, Arthur. Shit. He's going, shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. 
Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in it. Big ass skater. Okay, I think it's had enough. Now, jeez, can we get back now? <sighs> You're gonna be okay, kid. <sighs> Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I don't know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Be safe. You got monsters out here. Well. All right. Thanks for watching, ladies and gents. This was my first episode of finishing what we got started. Sorry I had to take a break middle of the game, but I should be back on eventually to continue Red Dead until I'll finish it. So, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, follow all the socials, and have a wonderful day.